Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to McGuffin County High School, where tonight the McGuffin County Hornets are preparing to do battle against neighboring Paintsville and the Tigers. McGuffin County coming into tonight's ball game, uh, having lost last week against Betsy Lane, 62-56, which even their record at 2-2 two two for the season. Paintsville Tigers also coming off of a big loss last week to Powell County, so they will be looking to get back on the winning track tonight as well. We have uh, the starting lineups coming up for you. I want to tell you that uh, McGoffin County and the Tigers met twice last season. The first one was here uh, at home, or excuse me, was in Paintsville, where the Tigers lost 67 to 61, a very close ball game. The two teams met again in the uh, district tournament and again another close ball game. And we are anticipating another one here this evening, earlier uh, tonight, it was the uh, junior varsity teams matching up. We saw the Paintsville Tigers come away with a 42-40 win in overtime. So if that's any indication of uh, what's to follow tonight, we should have a dandy of a ball game. We'll be back with the starting lineups right after this. Uh, that the two teams will line up uh, for uh, tonight. First of all, for the visiting Paintsville Tigers, who are two and four on the season. They will be led tonight by number 14, John Holbrook. Also in the backcourt will be number 12, Scott Holbrook, Don Montgomery, Brian Lyon, and Robert Porter. We believe that it will be the starting lineup for the visiting Tigers. For McGoffin Kelly, we are looking for number 23, Brandon Holbrook. Number 25, Daryl Russell. Number 30, David Gibson. Number 33, Rodney Ward. And number 11, Neil Harvey. We, again, believe these are uh, the way the two teams will line up for you. We'll double-check it uh, when the starting lineups are announced. And we're just moments away from tip-off here at McGoffin County High School. And welcome into the game tonight between the Peaceful Tigers and the McGoffin County Hornets. And we'll be back with the opening tip-off right after this word. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with you at Begoppin County High School where tonight the Beachville Tigers are in town to take on your Begoppin County Hornets. First of all, starting lineups for the Paintsville Tigers tonight. Don Montgomery starting at uh, guard for the Paintsville Tigers. Number 14, John Holbrook. Brian Lyon at the other guard position for the Paintsville Tigers. And now for your McGuffin County Hornets. Rodney Ward. Number 23, Brandon Holbrook. Number 23, Brandon Holbrook at the other forward spot for Modafi County. Going in and starting at center tonight for the Modafi County Hornets. David Gibson starting at one of the other forward slots. Darrell Russell, there you have it. The starting lineups for tonight's ball game, and we are ready to roll here tonight. Sit back in your seats, it ought to be a good one. We had a good one earlier in the JV varsity game, as we told you in the pregame. The Paintsville Tigers won it by two in overtime, 42-40. So if that's any indication, we ought to have a barn burner here in the main frame for you tonight. McGuffin County coming into tonight's ball game with a record of two and two. The Paintsville Tigers at two and four. And we are ready to get it underway. Rodney Ward. 
Brian Montgomery, and the tip goes to the Magoppin County Hornets. Gibson with it. Edmond, no good. Rebound comes off to the Tigers. And I believe we're going to have a foul called against their, uh, David Gibson. And it is Gibson's first and also McGuffin County's first foul. Aaron Markham with the basket. So after hitting the three-pointer, Markham comes back and picks up a personal foul, and that's his first team's first against the Tigers. Holbrook tried to take it inside, loses the handle, so it goes over to the Tigers. John Holbrook in backcourt. 3-0, the Tigers leading it here in the early going with 7.18 to go. Holbrook down the lane, puts it up and in. Two on the night for Holbrook, and it's a 5-0 ball game now. The Paintsville Tigers on top. Tigers in a man-to-man. -man. Tenacious defense right now being applied by the Tigers. Ward turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound comes off to Holbrook. Here come the Tigers. 6.52 to go here in the first quarter. Tigers leading it by a 5 to nothing count. And knocked out of bounds. It belongs to Batesville. Markham the inbound it. Gets it into Montgomery. Montgomery. Almost lost there by the Tigers. Montgomery shot is up, no good, blocked. Montgomery looking for someone to give it to. Montgomery down the in and out, no good. Rebound comes off to McGuffin County. <laughs> Russell fouled on the play. Two fouls now on Markham and two team fouls against the Tigers. Rodney Ward has it taken away. Holbrook with it in backcourt. <laughs> Holbrook in backcourt, way up front now, directing traffic for the Tigers. And let's see, we have a foul. What are they going to call it against McGuffin County? That's against Brandon Holbrook of the Hornets. And his first personal, second. Robert Porter into the ball game now for the Tigers. Shots up and no good by Porter. He's fouled on the shot. Sent it to the line to shoot two, I believe. Uh, on Ward. It's his first and the third team foul against McGuffin County. Porter's first shot is up and it is good. Six to nothing now. Tigers leading McGuffin County. Porter's second shot is up, and it is also good. Seven to nothing now. The Tigers leading McGuffin County. Gibson with the basketball. Gets it off to Russell. Shots up and good.
to Russell. That's his first basket of the night, and 7-2 now as Agape County finally gets on the board. And they got a foul away from the basketball. Let's see, I believe it's going to be against McGoffin County again. Let's see who they whistle. It's on Neil Harvey. 14 foul now for McGoffin County. Brian Lyon to trigger it in for the Tigers. from the referee here. We've got the Holbrook. Holbrook. The Lion. Lion. Gives it off to Montgomery. Montgomery. Turns the ball over and the turnover gives it over to McGoffin County who throws it by five with 5.04 to go here in the first quarter of play. 7-2 to two the score. David Gibson with it in backcourt for the Hornets. Brings it across into front court. And it's on the attack. Feeds underneath to Harvey. And that's his first basket of the night. 7-4 to four now, McGoffin County trailing the Paintsville Tigers. Holbrook in backcourt. Drives down the lane, puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebound comes off. I believe it was last touch by McGoffin County, so it'll be Tiger basketball. Edmund goes out, Ward is back in for McGoffin County. Ryan to trigger it in. Finally gets it in, almost taken away there. Holbrook looking for some help. Has it stolen away. Here come the Hornets. Got up and in by Russell. And for Russell, his fourth point of the night. Seven to six now, McGuffin County pulls within one. Lyon with it, double team down in the corner. And they steal it away. Over down to War, who loses it. Shot is up no good by Russell. Scramble for the ball, we have a jump ball. And the possession arrow gives it to McGoffin County. Three fifty-six to go here in the first quarter with McGoffin County leading it by one, seven to six over the Paintsville Tigers. Holbrook in backcourt motions everybody down. He'll bring it down himself. And a man defense now being put on by the Hornets. Holbrook drives down. She's off. Back out to Porter. Shot is up and it is no good. Rebound comes off to Russell. Here come the Hornets. Maybe Gibson had an idea but brings it back out. Oh, stolen away by Lyon. Shot is up and no good. Rebound. Lyon gets it, puts it in. And for Lyon, it's his first basket of the night. 9 6 now. McGoffin County trails it by three. Holbrook is it off to Russell. Three pointers up, no good, but we have a foul underneath away from the basket. And it looks like it's going to be going against the Tigers. Three team fouls on Paintsville and Robert Porter's first personal foul. Just Rodney Ward, turnaround jumpers up, got it. Ward's first basket of the night, nine to eight now with three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Holbrook bringing it down for the Tigers. Up to Montgomery, Montgomery working with it, gets it into the lane, has it stolen away by Brandon Holbrook. Holbrook shot up and in. Ten to nine now. Goffin County taking the lead for the first time in the ball game, and we have a timeout. First timeout for the Tigers. 
2.35 left to go here in the first quarter with Pinchwell trailing it by one, 10 to nine. We'll be back with more action from McGuffin County High School right after this. to go here in the first quarter with Goffin County leading it by one. Holbrook in backcourt. Set to bring it in to play now for the Tigers. Montgomery to Lyon. Back to Montgomery. Montgomery looking for some help. Back out to Holbrook. Holbrook to Montgomery. Montgomery down in the corner to Lyon. Lyon. Leads it in to Porter who was fouled. Let's see who they call it on. The 15 foul for McGuffin County, and the of that one against Neil Harvey is second. Porter driving down, has it blocked. Stolen right back by the Tigers. Holbrook has it in backcourt. Just over two minutes to go here in the first quarter, and let's see. They're going to whistle this one against Holbrook. And for Holbrook is first, and the fourth team foul against the Tigers. David Gibson now with the basketball in backcourt for the Hornets. He lead it 10-9 with 1.54 to go in the first quarter. Billy Edmond with it now, back to Gibson. Stolen away by the Tigers, and John Holbrook will bring it down for the Tigers. Gets it into front court to Montgomery. Montgomery feeds it to Holbrook, who uh, district right to Mugoppin County player. Rodney Ward up with the shot, and no good. Rebound comes off to number 12, Jeff Federal. And for Whipple, his first basket of the night. And it's fouled. Count the basket. Dunn Montgomery now committing the foul. John Harold in now for the Tigers. Literal will be at the line to shoot one. It's up and it's good. Brandon Holbrook back in now for the McGuffin County Hornets. Holbrook brings it down for the Tigers. Down the lane, loses the handle, but it's fouled. Looks like Holbrook going to be whistled for the... And the 16 foul. John Holbrook for three, it's in and out. Rebound comes off to Inman for the Hornets, and here come the Hornets. Stolen back by Porter in backcourt. John Holbrook now will bring it down for the Tigers, who trail it 13-9 with a 104 to go here in the first quarter. Porter, a three-pointer, no good. Rebound comes off to the Tigers. And here come the Hornets. Stolen away will belong to Peachful. There's some sloppy ball handling at both ends of the floor right now. 
John Holbrook brings it down for the Tigers. He trailed it 13 to 9 with 50 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Holbrook gets it off to Lyon. Lyon to Harold. Harold the Porter. Shot up and in. Uh, number 20 for Paintsville. And we'll get that player for you here in just a second. Let's see if we count the pass. Basketball Scott Porter was good, and he also got the free throw. 13 to 12. Rodney Ward underneath has it. 16 seconds to go here in the first quarter. John Holbrook bringing it down for the Tigers. Drop the quarter. Quarter. Out to Lyon. Lyon walks with the basketball. Turnover gives it back to Modoffin County with five seconds to go here in the first period. 15 to 12, Modoffin County leading it. Russell, three-pointer on the way. Got it. At the basket. So a three-pointer at the buzzer in the first quarter gives Modoffin County an 18 to 12 lead. We'll be back with more from Modoffin County High School right after this. back with you at McGuffin County High School where the Paintsville Tigers trail it by six, 18 to 12. Inman bringing it down for the Hornets. In the front court. Gets it off to Russell. Russell looking for some help. Gets it to Ward. Ward out to Inman. Inman down to Russell. Puts up, no, passes it off. Loses it, but it was touched last by the Tigers. Edmund inbounded under his own basket. Hornets leading at 18-12, 7.42 to go here in the first half. Gets it into Ward. Ward, turnaround jumper is up. Good. Six points so far for Billy. No, for Rodney Ward, I'm sorry. And here come the Paintsville Tigers. Shot is up, no good. Ward tried to save it, but he couldn't find the handle on it. Loses it out of bounds, so it will belong to the Tigers, who trail it 20 to 12. Brian Lyon inbound. He comes out to John Holbrook. Holbrook. To Lyon. Lyon back to Holbrook. A three-pointer on the way. It's no good. Rebound comes off to the Hornets. And here come the McGuffin County Hornets leading it 20 to 12. Inman feeds underneath. Good pass. Combs. His first two baskets for two points of the night, 22-12. Now McGuffin County opening up a 10-point lead on the Tigers. John Holbrook with it. Looks for help. We have a foul away from the basket. And I believe it will be called against the Hornets. Now, 
That's on Jeff Literal, his first. Aaron Marco and Don Montgomery back in now for the Paintsville Tigers. Now let's see. Scott Porter going to be on the line, I believe, for the Tigers. Porter will shoot the one and one. The first is up and good. Second one on its way, and it rolls in there. Five points so far for Scott Porter. 22-14 now, McGoffin County leading the Tigers. 6.54 to go here in the first half. Almost stolen away and was tipped last by, I believe that was Brian Lyon, if I'm not mistaken, we'll have to check that. Inman then bound it, gets it into Ward. Three-pointer, got it. Nine points on the night for Ward. He leads all scorers here in the first half. 25-14 now, nine-point lead by McGuffin County. Holbrook loses the handle, has it stolen away. Here come the Hornets. Shot is up and in by Russell. And for Russell, his ninth point of the night. So he and Rodney Ward now with nine points each. 27-14, McGuffin County leading the Pinksville Tigers. Montgomery, three. 27-17 now, Ward loses it out of bounds and will belong to the Tigers. David Gibson and Brandon Holbrook back in now for the Goffin County Hornets. John Holbrook bringing it down for the Tigers. He trail it by 10, 27-17 with 5.58 to go here in the first half. Markham with it, gives it off to Holbrook. Holbrook underneath the line, puts up the shot, got it. And for Lyons, his fourth bass, or his fourth point of the night, rather, 27-19 now, McGuffin County leads it. Neil Harvey in, Rodney Ward goes out for McGuffin County. Inman to inbound it. Gets it into Brandon Holbrook. Holbrook with it in back court. Moves it back to Inman. Over now to Gibson. Back to Inman. And he'll bring it across the midcourt strike. Gives it to Gibson. Gibson down the lane. Puts it up. No good. It's his own rebound. And. I believe they call it a jump ball, so it will belong to the Tigers. John Holbrook bringing it down for the Faithful Tigers. He trail it 27-19 with 5.45 to go in the first half, and I believe we're going to have a foul called against David Gibson. And for Gibson, that's his second. Uh, okay. They say one, we show him with two. Have to double check that for you. John Holbrook at the line for the Paintsville Tigers to shoot the one and one. Tigers trailing 27-19. First shot's up, no good. Rebound comes off to McGoffin County. Here come the Hornets. Harvey with it in backcourt, gives it off to Inman. Inman. Down to Brandon Holbrook. Holbrook. Back out to Ward, now to Inman. Inman. It off to Holbrook. Holbrook has it taken away by John Holbrook with the Tigers. Here come the Tigers. Three on one. Holbrook puts up the shot. Clean block says the referee. Here come the Hornets back the other way. Harvey has it taken away by Lyon. Back to Holbrook. Puts up the shot. No good. Lyon turnaround jumper is good. And we have a foul. Count the basket. That is on Jeff Literal, his second. 27-21. Algoffin County leads it. 
Lions will be at the line to shoot one. Trying to convert the three-point play, and it's up and no good. Brown comes off to Whipple, and here comes Inman with it. Inman to Ward. Ward, three-pointer, it's up. No good. Rebound comes off to Lions for the Tigers. Montgomery with it. Down. And a foul. That's Robert Porter. And for Porter, his second. And the sixth team foul now for the Tigers. So one more foul, and McGuffin County will be in the bonus. Inman with it in backcourt. Hornets leading at 27-21. Here's Inman down quickly for the Hornets. And we'll have a foul on Harvey, and for Harvey, that is his third. Coach Adams quickly getting a substitution in for Harvey. David Gibson in now for the Harnets. Brian Lyons at the line to shoot the one and one for the Tigers. First one is up and it's in there. Seven on the night now for Lyons. 27-22, McAuliffe County leading it. 4.16 to go. Lyons second shot, it's in. 27-23 now, McGuffin County leading it. Inman in backcourt. Gives it to Gibson. Gibson drives down the lane, feeds it underneath. Literal. 29-23, McGuffin County leading it. Montgomery with the basketball, looking for some help. Drives down the lane. This is off to Lyon. Lyon puts up the shot. Got it. Ten points on the night for Brian Lyons, and it's now 25, 29-25, Agapa County by four. Inman double teamed over on the far side, shot is up by Russell, good. Three for Russell, 12 points on the night for Russell, it's 32-25 with 3.23 to go here in the first half. Shots on the way, blocked. Porter puts up the shot, no good. Rebound comes off to McGuffin County. And they're going to call it on Aaron Markham, I believe, and if that's so, we his third. That is three on Markham. John Holbrook in now for Markham. Inman at the line to shoot the one and one. First one's up and no good. Rebound comes off to McGuffin County. Put up and in, or put up by Littrell, no good. And he's back out front. No good by Russell. And the rebound comes off to the Tigers. And the pass thrown away by Montgomery. Gives it back to McGuffin County. Jeff Littrow going out. Brandon Holbrook back in for McGuffin County. Gibson bringing it down for the Hornets. They lead it 32-25 now with 2.51 to go. Foul away from the basket, and I believe we're going to call this one on the Tigers. Whistled that one against Doug Montgomery. That's his second. At the line to shoot the one and one, Billy Inman, who has yet to score tonight for the Tiger or for the uh, McGuffin County Hornets. Inman's first shot is up. He's got it. His first point of the night gives the Hornets a 33 25 advantage. Here's the bonus. It's up. Got it. So two on the night for Billy Inman. 34-25 now, the Paintsville Tigers trailing the Hornets. Here's Lyons with it. Montgomery, no good. Rebound comes off to Inman for the Hornets, and here come the Hornets. 
Enman with it. Drives down the lane. Puts up the shot. No good. Rebound comes off to Porter for Batesville. Robert Porter, his fourth point of the night. 34-27 now, McGuffin County leading it. Brandon Holbrook feeds it down underneath, tried to get it inside to Combs. Substitution stand now for McGuffin County. Rodney Ward and Jeff Literal back in now. Is out to Ward. Ward. Is it out to Russell? Ward with it. Puts up the shot. It's no good. Rolls around. Fight for the rebound. Goes off. Goffin County will belong to the Tigers, who trail it 34 27 with a minute 58 to go here in the first half. Holbrook cross courts it. That's back to Holbrook. Montgomery, shot up, no good. Rebound comes off to McGuffin County. Here come the Hornets. Gibson with it. Puts up the shot. Got it. Got it, and he was fouled. Gibson's first two of the night. Coming at the 139 mark in the first half. Gibson at the last of the shoot four. Gibson will shoot one, and the shot is up. It is no good. Rebound comes off to Montgomery for Paintsville. John Holbrook with it, brings it down quickly for the Tigers. Down the lane, puts up the shot, no good, blocked. Back the other way come the Hornets. Gibson with it. Drives underneath, puts up the shot. Beautiful move by David Gibson. 38-27, McGuffin County leading the Tigers with another 13 to go here in the first half. John Holbrook with it. Gives it to Montgomery. Back to Holbrook. Holbrook looking for somebody to throw it to. Back out to Montgomery. Down they go to Lyons underneath. Puts it in. 12 points on the night for Lyons. 38-29 now McGuffin County leading it. Ward drives down, puts up the shot. No good. Rebound comes off to McGuffin County. Russell had it and was fouled on the play. That's the first foul, personal foul against Brian Lyons. Sends Russell to the line to shoot one and one. First one's up, no good. Rebound comes off to John Holbrook. He brings it down with his Tigers trailing at 38-29 with 36 seconds to go here in the first half. Holbrook. Working against Inman. Now they have the Lions outside. Montgomery down in the corner, and we have a foul. Looks like it, uh, it's going to be against Literal. For literal, his third foul. Lions at the line to shoot the one and one. 25 seconds to go here in the first half. Or excuse me, Robert Porter at the line to shoot the one and one. The first one's up and no good. Rebound comes off to Inman. 23 seconds left to go here in the first half. McGuffin County leading it 38-29. Pass is tipped away by Batesville. John Harold in now for the Tigers, and we also have number 32. For the Tigers, 18 seconds left to go here in the first half. Well, they got it inside to Combs. He was fouled. It's on Brian Lyons, and so he has picked up two quick ones here in the latter portion of this half. 
Combs at the line to shoot the one and one. It's up, no good. Rebound comes off the ward. Call it a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to Magoffa County. 38-29 with 12 seconds to go here in the first half. Magoffa County leading it. Inman to inbound it under his own basket. Here's Russell. No good. Rebound comes off to the Hornets. Russell with another three-pointer. Hands it. 15 points on the night for Russell at the end of the first half. Magoffa County leading at 41-29. We'll be back with the halftime stats for you right after this. tonight where the Magoffa County Hornets are enjoying a 41-29 advantage over the visiting Paintsville Tigers here at the half and here are the unofficial totals for you as we have them here at halftime first of all for the Paintsville Tigers they were led in scoring by Brian Lyons who had 12 points he was followed by Scott Porter who had five Aaron Markham and Don Montgomery each had three Robert Porter had four, and John Holbrook only had a couple for the Paintsville Tigers for their 29 points. For McGoffin County, they were led uh, in the first half by Darrell Russell, who pumped in 15 points, followed by Rodney Ward, who had nine, David Gibson with six, Billy Inman, Brian, uh, Brandon Holbrook, Neil Harvey and Stephen Combs had two, and Jeff Literal had five. The personal foul situation for the Paintsville Tiger, the um, only player in any real serious foul problems is Aaron Markham, who has three. We show Robert Porter, Brian Lyons, and Don Montgomery with two personals, and John Holbrook with one. Scott Porter uh, played in the first half and picked up no personal fouls for the Paintsville Tigers. The Magoppa County Hornets have a couple of players who uh, are in foul trouble. Uh, Neil Harvey and Jeff Literal each with three. Then we have David Gibson with two, Rodney Ward and Stephen Combs each with one personal foul. Billy Inman and uh, Daryl Russell uh, had no personal fouls here in the first half. We are at halftime again where the Magoppa County Hornets are leading it. 41-29. We'll be back with the start of the second half for you right after these messages. back with you at McGuffin County High School where the Hornets lead at 41-29 as we get ready to start the second half of play. Brian Lyons with it now and gives it off to John Holbrook. Holbrook. Yeah. 
Shot up and in. By Markham. And it's 41-31. Magoffa County leading it by 10. Inman gets it into front court for the Hornets. Holbrook. Holbrook with it down. Gives it off to Russell. Feeds it into Inman. Puts up the shot. But he traveled before taking the shot. Turnover gives it over to the Painesville Tigers. 41-31 the score. 7-14 to go here in the third period. Montgomery with it. Feeds it underneath to Markham. Puts it up and in. Five points on the night for Markham, and it's 41-33. Algonquin County leading it. Brandon Holbrook gives it off to Gibson. Gibson out front to Russell. Gibson with it. Down to Ward. Turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound comes off to Lyons for the Tigers. Holbrook with it now. Tigers looking to cut into that lead even more. 41-33. 6.30 to go here in the third period. Beat it underneath the line. Shot is up and in. 14 points on the night for Brian Lyons. And we have a timeout with 6.19 to go here in the third quarter. 41-35, McGoffa County leads it. We'll be back with more right after this. Quick timeout by McGoffin County here as the Paintsville Tigers have now reeled off four points in a row, cutting it 41 to 35. McGoffin County still leading it. 6.19 to go here in the third quarter. Edmund will inbound it for the Hornets as they will bring it full court. That's it into Gibson. Gibson back to Inman. Now back to Gibson. Down to Russell. Russell with it. Uh, Gibson. Gibson. Off to Russell. Or, uh, excuse me, Brandon Holbrook there with it momentarily. Shot up and in by Holbrook. And his four point of the night. 43-35. McGoffin County leading it. John Holbrook bringing it down for the Tigers. Markham. It's a two lions. Tried to feed it underneath to Holbrook going down the lane, but it's taken away by McGoffin County. Here come the Hornets. Russell with it. Feeds it underneath to Combs with the basket. Four points on the night for Stephen Combs. 45-35, a 10-point lead now for McGoffin County. Holbrook with it to Markham. Markham out front. Gives it to uh, Aaron Markham. Now Holbrook with it. And bring it back up. They'll set it again. To Markham. Down to Aaron Markham. Back up to Stephen Markham. Over to Montgomery. Down in the corner to Holbrook. Looking for someone to dish it off to. Stolen away by Brandon Holbrook. Here come the Hornets. Shot up by Combs is no good, and it was knocked out of bounds by McGoffin County. Belongs to the Tigers. Here comes Holbrook. His team trails it by 10, 45-35, 4.41 to go here in the third quarter. Underneath the Ryan Lyons, up and in. And for Lyons, his 16th point of the night. 45-37, McGoffin County still leading it. Brandon Holbrook gives it off to Gibson. Gibson. Off to Russell. Russell. Back out to Holbrook. Holbrook down underneath to Combs. 
Trebles. Turnover gives it back to the Tigers who trail it by eight points. Rodney Ward getting set to come in now for McGuffin County. Combs going out. Here comes John Holbrook for the Tigers. 45-37. McGuffin County leading it. Holbrook now setting the offense for the Tigers. Markham. Gives it up to Aaron Markham. Back to Holbrook. Outside to Lyons. Lyons off to Aaron Markham. Markham out to Holbrook. Now off to Lyons. Back up to Markham. To Holbrook. Holbrook. Back to Markham. Off to Lyons. Lyons with it way out front. Down to Holbrook in the corner. Gets it inside to Montgomery up and in. No good. Lyons with the rebound. No good. And let's see, I believe they're going to call Lyons for the personal foul. Now, wait a minute. Now they're going to call it against Mogapa County. That's on Harvey, and that's his fourth personal. Billy Emmon coming in now for Harvey. Lyons to inbound it underneath his own basket. The Tigers trail it 45-37. Comes into Holbrook. Leads it underneath to Montgomery. He loses it out of bounds. It'll go to McGoffin County. Still Mike Runyon very upset with that. It's the lack of concentration by the Tigers. Full court press now being put on by the Tigers. Another team on Gibson. He gets it down to Ward. Shot up and no good. Rebound comes off to... Markham for the Tigers, gets it to Holbrook, and here come the Paintsville Tigers, still trailing it by eight. 45-37 with 3.02 to go here in the third quarter. Aaron Markham with it out front, has it knocked away by Ward, and he loses it out of bounds. Turnover gives it back to McGoffin County. Number 20, Scott Holbrook in for the Tigers. Shot up by Brandon Holbrook is no good. Rebound underneath, put it up and in by Littrell. And for Littrell, his seventh point of the night. 47-37 is back to a 10-point advantage now for McGoffin County. Holbrook out to Markham. Markham down to Holbrook. Holbrook. Looking for someone to give it to. Gives it off to Montgomery. Montgomery over to Holbrook. He drives down, feeds it back outside. Montgomery has it. Gives it back to Holbrook. Got about a three. Tries to take it inside. It's saved, but right into the hands of Littrell. Here comes McGuffin County with it. Loses it out of bounds, but it was last touched by a peaceful player. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Paintsville travels 37 to 47. Modoffin County now to inbound it under their own basket. Comes out to Holbrook. Holbrook the shot up. Good. Six points on the night for Holbrook. And we uh, have a little disagreement here. Well, we saw a little bit of this uh, in the JV varsity game. And... Uh, Let's see here. All right, Holbrook goes out, Rodney Ward back in. John Holbrook now with it in backcourt for the Tigers. 49-37, Paintsville trails it. To Markham. To Holbrook. Out to Montgomery. Montgomery gets it off to Holbrook. And let's see. 
Got a foul underneath on Dauphin County. That's on Billy Inman. That's two on Inman. 131 to go here in the third quarter with Banksville trailing it 49-37. Come out to Scott Markham. Markham drives down the lane, puts up the shot. No good. Rebound comes off to Ward for McGoffin County. And he's fouled by number five, Don Montgomery. And that's three on Montgomery. That's the first team foul of the half for the Tigers. They trail it by eight, 49-37 with a minute 16 to go here in the third quarter. Russell with it. And he's fouled. I believe they're going to call Brian Lyons. Now like that. Scott Holbrook is first and the second team foul now against Paintsville. John Harold back into the ball game now for the Tigers. Pencil with it for the Hornets to Gibson. And he's fouled by John Holbrook. And for John, his second. Team third. So the Tigers now picking up some quick fouls. And let's see, okay, comes in, Gibson then bound it, gets it in to Ward, back to Gibson, here come the Hornets, leading at 49-37, we've been on this score for some time, seems like, Russell with it. And it was knocked away from Jeff Lidrell. a principal player last touched it, so the McGuffin County Hornets retain possession. 52 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Gibson gets it in to Russell. Russell with it. Back out to Gibson. Down underneath to Inman. Puts it in. Four points on the night for Billy Inman. 51-37. The Tigers trailing it. Shot up and in by Scott Holbrook. Seven points on the night for Scott Holbrook. 51-39. Three-pointer on the way by Darrell Russell. 18 points on the night for Darrell Russell. 54-39, 14 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Holbrook brings it down. And get it out to Harold. Harold off to Markham. Markham puts up a three, no good. Holbrook. That's the end of the third quarter with McGoffin County leading at 54-41 over the Paintsville Tigers. We'll be back with the third, or with the final period of play, I should say, right after we hear these words. Well, we're set to bring you the fourth and final period of play here tonight at McGuffin County High School where the Hornets are up on the Paintsville Tigers, 54-41. Scotty Holbrook out there trying to get his team pumped up here. They trail it by 13 points. Just put it inbound, gets it back. Here come the Hornets on the attack. Man-to-man -man defense by the Tigers. Well, they try to go down underneath to Littrell. Combs back in now for Littrell. Montgomery with it out front for the Tigers. Three-pointers up, no good by Paintsville. Rebound comes off to Inman. Here come the Hornets. Underneath the ward, shot up in. 
11 points on the night for Rodney Ward, 56-41 now. Adopting County leading it. Montgomery with it for the Tigers. Drives down. Feeds it back out to Lyons. Wide open. No good. Inman with the rebound. Gives it off to Russell. Russell back to Gibson. Gibson with it out front. Passes it off to Inman. Inman down in the corner. Gets it in to Ward. Turnaround jumper is blocked by Montgomery. Here come the Tigers. Trail at 56-41. Uh, shot up and no good by Batesville rebound to Montgomery. To Lyons in the lane. No good. 6.32 to go. Batesville down 56-41. Gibson drives up. Puts up the shot, no good, but he was fouled. And I'll say no foul. I guess he stepped on the end line down there. So the turnover gives it back to Paintswell, who trails it 56-41. 6.22 to go here in the fourth quarter. Brad Sargent in now for the Tigers. Here's Lyons. Three-pointer. Got it. 19 points on the night for Brian Lyons. 56-44. About the county leading it. Shot up by Holbrook is no good. Rebound comes off to Holmes. But he was fouled underneath. Gibson. Six points for David Gibson. 58-44, 5.33 to go in the game. Sargent, the shot up no good. And here comes McGuffin Kelly. Gibson to bring it down for the Hornets. He lead it 58-44. Russell with it. Get off to Gibson. Gibson, the shot up in the lane. Got it. Eight points on the night for Gibson, 60 to 44. 5.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. Holbrook. Now they tried to feed it down underneath to Lyons, but it was knocked out of bounds by Harvey. John Harold and Aaron Markham back in for the Tigers. It's the sergeant with it. Looking for somebody. Tries to take it inside, but it's... It's off a McGuffin County player. Tigers retain possession. Okay, we have a timeout on the floor with 4.51 to go here in the fourth quarter. Magapa County leads it 60 to 44. We'll be back with more from Magapa County High School right after this. to go here in the fourth quarter play at McGuffin County High School where the Hornets lead it 60 to 44 over the Benchwall Tigers.
Well, we really expected to have a quite a different ball game tonight. We, uh, in the pregame, we told you that uh, these two teams met twice last year. Both of those games were very close, but uh, has not been that way tonight. Sargent with it. Pass by Harrell goes out of bounds, and the turnover gives it back to McGoffin Kelly. Neil Harvey gets it into Inman. And here come the Hornets on the attack. Inman with it. Gives it off to Russell. Russell. To Inman. To Holbrook. Holbrook. Three pointer. Got it. Nine points for Brandon Holbrook. Don Montgomery back in now for the Tigers. Hit it underneath the Lions. It's in. 21 points for Brian Lyons. 63-46. 4-04 to go here in the fourth quarter. Harvey taking it inside. Puts it in. 65-46. Gotham County leading it. Markham. Beat it into Lions, and let's see, we've got a foul against Wagapin County. I know it's against Paintsville. Four fouls against Aaron Markham. And a 15 foul against the Tigers, and make it number six. And two quick fouls now by Aaron Markham, and I believe that's his fifth, if I'm not mistaken. So he fouls out with 3.45 to go here in the ball game. Scott Holbrook back in now for the Tigers. Inman with it. Way up front. Inman puts up the shot. No good, but he walks. Substitution now for McGuffin County. David Gibson back in. Inman goes out. 65-46. 334 to go here in the game as McGoffin County leads the Taint Peaceful Tigers. Almost stolen away by McGoffin County. Montgomery with it. Up to Harold. Here's Scott Markham. Puts up the shot. Got it. Or, excuse me, that's Rattler. And a three-second violation called against the McGoffin County Hornets. Turnover gives it back to the Tigers. He trail at 65-48 with 3.05 to go in the ball game. Ratliff feeds it underneath. To Harold, who uh, has it slapped out of bounds by McGoffin County, so the Tigers will retain possession. And they'll throw it in under their own basket. Coming in for Agapa County is Rodney Ward and Billy Inman back in. Jeff Littrell and Brandon Holbrook going out for Agapa County. Well, they try to take it underneath to Holbrook. Knocked away by Agapa County, so the Tigers will try it again. Harold. To Ratliff, back to Harold. Out to Ratliff. Over to Montgomery. Lyons puts it up. No good, but we have a foul. Going to be on the Tigers. That's two on Scott Holbrook. Inman. Almost stolen away. Brian Ratliff.
And we have a timeout on the floor with 2.39 to go here in the ball game. It's McGuffin Kelly leading at 65-48 over the Tigers. We'll be back with more after this. set to bring you the final 239 here tonight as Magapa County leads Paintsville 65-48. David Gibson will inbound it for Magapa County. Get off to Russell. Russell. Down to Gibson. Here come the Tigers. Darrell Lyons with it. To Ratliff, a three-pointer, no good. Rebound comes off to McGoffin County. Inman with the rebound. Gets it over to Russell. Russell with it. Pushes off to Gibson. Gibson. Bring it back out. To Inman. Inman. Gets it off to Russell. Russell. Stolen away. And we have a foul. It's going to be called against McGoffin County's David Gibson. That will be his third. And the first team foul of the half, believe it or not, for McGoffin County. Substitution now coming in for McGoffin County. Brendan Holbrook back in, and Russell will be going out. Scott Holbrook inbounded for the Tigers. Gets it in to Ratliff. 65-48, McGoffin County leading the Tigers here with a minute 58 to go in the ballgame. Scott Holbrook tried to take it inside, but he was fouled. That's on Billy Emman, his second, and the team second. Lyons stand bounded. All right. So we have a foul against Batesville. Don Montgomery, that's his fourth. Substitution set to come in for. <laughs> Eric Markham in now for the Tigers as Montgomery sits down. At the line will be Brandon Holbrook to shoot the one and one. The first is up. Got it. Ten points on the night for Brandon Holbrook. 66-48 now. Adopting County leading the Tigers. Second one is up. He, no good. Comes off to Sergeant for Paintsville. Brian Lyons with it to Ratliff quickly. Shot up. No good by Paintsville. And again, it's no good. Sergeant with the rebound, but... Jump ball called. Possession arrow in favor of McGuffin County, so they get it back. Brandon Holbrook underneath the ward. Puts up the shot. No good, but he was hammered underneath. And I believe they call that on Markham. Rodney Ward will be at the line to shoot two for the Hornets. The first one's up. Got it. 12 points on the night for Rodney Ward. 67-48. And the second one is good. 13 points on the night now for Markham. Point 
20-point lead by McGuffin County. 133 to go here in the fourth quarter. Here's Sellers with it for Meatsville. Gives it off to Lyons. Lyons underneath to Sargent. Turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound comes off to McGuffin County. David Gibson with it. Brings it across the timeline. Down into the lane. And I believe they're going to call him for the foul. That's his fourth. And the 15 foul. Chris Sellers with an L for the Tigers. Trail it 68-48. Sellers in backcourt. Gets it off to Ratlow. Ratlow back to Sellers. Loses the handle. Goes for the basketball. And they call a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of the Tigers, so they will retain possession. Less than a minute to go in the ball game with McGuffin County enjoying a 20-point lead over the Paintsville Tigers. Brian Lyons, a three-pointer is good. 24 points on the night for Brian Lyons as McGuffin County leads it 68-51. Wholesale substitutions now coming in for McGuffin County. And yeah, we'll have to check them for you because I can't get them all here. Randy Reisner with it now for McGuffin County. Stolen away, here come the Tigers. Ratlow has it. Goes over the chop, but he was fouled. First one's up, no good. 68-51, McGoffin County leading the Paintsville Tigers with 27 seconds to go in the ball game. Second one up by Ratliff is good. Five points on the night for Ratliff. Here comes McGoffin County. Stolen away by the Paintsville Tigers, Ratliff in backcourt. Sellers with a shot, no good. Here comes the Hornets back the other way. Stolen away by Sargent. Two seconds to go. McGoffin County is going to go three and two. And the Tigers are going to drop to two and five. Lions a three-pointer, no good. That's the end of the ball game with the McGuffin County Hornets winning it 68 to 52. We'll be back with the final game stats for you right after this. Well, we're back here at McGuffin County High School where tonight the McGuffin County Hornets are victorious over the visiting Paintsville Tigers. Final score in the ball game, the Hornets winning it by a final score of 68 to 52. Here are the final totals as we have them for you. These are, of course, unofficial, but uh, as best as we can determine, they are fairly accurate. <laughs> but we won't guarantee it. But anyway, this is the way that we show the scoring for uh, the Paintsville Tigers for tonight. John Holbrook winds up with a total of four points on the evening. We have uh, Scott Holbrook who played but did not score. Don Montgomery had three. Brian Lyons wound up the night. A good night for Brian Lyons. 24 points. Robert Porter had four. Aaron Markham had five. Scott Holbrook with seven and um, 
Scott Ratliff had five points for the visiting Tigers who go down to defeat 68 to 52. For the McGuffin County Hornets tonight, Brandon Holbrook had 10 points. Daryl Russell had 18. David Gibson with eight. Rodney Ward had 13. Neil Harvey with four. Billy Inman with four. Jeff Litterell had seven. And Stephen Combs with four for the McGuffin County Hornets who lead it or who win it again by a final score of 68 to 52. Only one player fouled out of the ball game and um, let's see if I can find out. Okay, that was Aaron Markham for the Paintsville Tigers who fouled out. He only had three points on the evening. For McGuffin County now, they improve to a record of three and two while the Paintsville Tigers fall to two and five. And for McGuffin County, let's see who we will next be playing here, if I can find my notes real quickly. McGuffin County will be uh, at home again on uh, the 19th, or on uh, Friday night, I should say, against Shelby Valley. Again, uh, the, the uh, McGuffin County Hornets will play host to Shelby Valley coming up this coming Friday night. We will have the uh, airing of the ball game for you on Saturday. That's going to do it here from McGuffin County High School, where once again it was the Paintsville Tigers coming in uh, to tonight's ball game, uh, looking for a win, but uh, getting disappointed as they lose it by a score of 68 to 52. And from McGuffin County High School, we bid you a fun, good evening. <laughs>